We're going to listen to another reflection now. This is a poem that has been brought to us by Aaliyah, and it's called, What Do You See? So this is um, a poem I've done for the Lament Service on reflection of the Black Lives Matter movement and uh, the death of George Floyd. Uh, this poem is called, What Do You See? I've seen the story before, almost like it was a norm. I saw the light fade from his eyes. I saw the re realization when he knew that this would be his last fight. I heard the pain in his shrieks, the swelling in his soul, and his heart crack into pieces. I could taste the last words on his tongue, the last air molecules leaving his lungs, the agony when he screamed, Mom. I smelt the desperation in the air, his future disappear, and the lingering wind of blood smeared. I could feel the concrete ground pulling him close, making him feel like he wasn't alone, and the lodge on his neck, which made him know that he wasn't going to make it home. I could see the tears in our ancestors' eyes, relating to the pain we've endured for generations which has exceeded a lifetime. I could hear the groans and the frustration, as it appears that we haven't progressed any further than the ships that we lay in. I could taste the revelation in the air, that even though the shackles aren't visible and the progress we made, it has been more than minimal, It's and the cause that we are marching for is ever so simple. I could smell the regret and the acknowledgement that we are still birds in cages singing for freedom that we may never get because of our skin and because our beauty isn't just out isn't just outside because of the pigmentation it is within our dna descendants from a nation of kings and queens a legacy of struggle joy and possibilities because our story isn't just of pain but of the wading waters we overcame i could envision a future I could rustle up a dream. I could carry on marching and post, posting, signing petitions and chanting in the street. But my worry is you won't listen. My worry is you won't listen. You won't listen because I'm different. I don't remind you of you. I don't remind you of someone you once knew. I don't remind you of a sister, a cousin, or even an old friend. I don't remind you of you because of the color of my skin. And that's something that I'll never change. And you see my God up there? He made me this way in his image. And he died in on the cross because he knew all this because he knew of all the sinning, which wasn't related to my skin. But the pen the pain, the temptation, the desperation we've all felt within. So can I ask? What do you see? I know it's simple. I know it's simple, but all we want to do is be, in, be equal and excel better than the generation before. And if it's possible, see ourselves and our kids get old. So will you let us? Can you let us be? Can you let us be free? Can you just let us breathe? Can you listen to me for a second? Can you just let me be me with all my culture, with all my love, with all my pain, with all my cousins, yeah, all my family? Can we just breathe fresh air again? Because this isn't what God intended us to be. We are one human race. We are one family tree. He died so that we would have life without racial boundaries. He wanted us to live a great life, can't you see? He shed his blood so we didn't have to. He shed his blood so we didn't have to. He shed his blood so we didn't have to. Yet they had no choice but to. I've seen the story before, almost like it was a norm. I saw the light fade from his eyes and the realization that he knew this would be his last fight. I heard the pain in his shrieks, the swelling in his soul and the breaking of his knees. I could taste the last words on his tongue, the last air molecules leaving his lungs and the agony when he panted for the last time. It is done. Thank you, Aaliyah, for sharing that with us. Um, really powerful words there. And um, what I'd like us to do now is coming out from that is to enter a time of penitence with an awareness that we all fall short of the glory of God. But each one of us might engage in this time of, uh, 
of prayer differently. We know that God releases healing and forgiveness. Some of us will be holding uh, negative emotions towards others as a result of some of these things. Some of us will have ourselves been part of systems or acts which have oppressed others. And this isn't an opportunity to, to name those or to speak them out. But as I read these prayers for you, you might just want to lift some of those things before God. And in doing so, my prayer is that you will receive some healing as we do this together. And I am fully aware I will be saying these prayers as a, as a white man, as a, as a member of the Church of England, of an institution, and I can't atone for those that have made gross mistakes. But I can seek forgiveness on their behalf. Let us pray. Human sin disfigures the whole creation, which groans with eager longing for God's redemption. We confess our sin in penitence and faith. God our Father, we come to you in sorrow for our sins, for turning away from you and ignoring your will for our lives. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. For behaving just as we wish without thinking of you. Father, forgive us, save us and help us for failing you by what we do and think and say father forgive us save us and help us for letting ourselves be drawn away by you from you by temptations in the world about us father forgive us save us and help us for living as if we were ashamed to belong to your son. Father, forgive us, save us and help us. The Lord enrich you with his grace and nourish you with his blessing. The Lord defend you in trouble and keep all you from all evil. The Lord accept your prayers and absolve you from your offences for the sake of Jesus Christ, our Saviour. Amen.